Yes. I would like to discuss the method of to how we can uh, attain a moisture content of a grain using electrical resistant meter. Now, this is how an electrical channel is used. Now, I have used uh, my grains as electrodes. These are just strength of a grain sample. This is my switch. This is my voltimeter. Now, instead of telling my voltage, it will be, I will, uh, uh, the voltage that will read in my scale, it, is, it will be now my moisture content scale, my battery. Now, the moment, the moment now I'm connecting this one to complete, the moment I will switch on to that one, now, these grains will lose moisture slowly, 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 slowly. And it will just be reading on the scale. You will find that at the first it was uh, like 25%. Now, the moment it is going slowly, 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 it will find that it will reach a point. Now it will be the voltage, the voltage which will be giving a reading of small figure than earlier before. Now that 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 scale is now giving me uh, the moisture content that is that cannot be now that is moisture content of a grain that cannot be removed in a grain. As now grain is drying up, the scale is dropping. The scale is now reading the small figure. Am I happy? Uh, yes. Now the moment two, the moment. The migraines, it, it will act as uh, electrons. Eh? The moment they are losing most because water is a good, uh, most is good conductor of electricity. Now, the moment they are losing the electricity, it will make the meter to read a small to get a least number of electrical. They will find that they will, it will come to a point, they will come to a point such that they will now be on the stable scale and that will be my moisture content of my green my grain that are placed in my strand okay that's how i can determine my moisture content of my grain using an electrical meter i'll repeat i placed my grain in this sample now, my grain will just lose its water by conducting of electrical. At the moment uh, the water is getting out of the grain, the electricity will get lower and it will respond to my voltimeter. And the moment it will now it will be it will read the stable, that will be tell me that is that is my moisture content of my grain, my grain. Okay? Because I've set my voltimeter to give me my moisture content, but not the power. Okay? That's how simple it is to determine moisture content using an electrical resistant meter. So, before I say something, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, you learn everything very simple very simple this is agricultural platform that i'm going to load all videos yeah? so make sure you have subscribed i'm kasango by the way kasango junior agronomist you can reach me using my this number whatsapp so but for now make sure you have subscribed like and comment thank you